today we're breaking the map by giving the Thunder Dragon Empire, or Fascist Bhutan, all of the highly elevated or like mountain countries on Earth. Because Bhutan is like one of the most famous, like 98% of their country is way above sea level. Basically every nation with over 20% of their land being some sort of like mountain terrain, they're part of the empire. And I didn't want to do factions because I think this is going to make it a little bit more interesting. If you watched the last video with Switzerland, we did something somewhat similar. Uh, that was the second time I recorded that, the first time they lost. So I don't really know what's going to happen here. This massive country could lose. I'll also be using the Antarctica mod for the first time because apparently this is the highest continent on Earth or something like that. So that'll be kind of interesting. I don't no, what's going on? Wow, okay. This is kind of amazing. Let's screw looking at the map. Let's look at this. Anyways, I don't think the South Pole is really going to make that much of a difference unless Santa comes and helps. Oh, he's from the North. Maybe he can lend some reindeer or something like that. They already have all of the U.S. and kind of a broken up Russia on their side. That's... That's plenty. It should be fine. Also, did want to mention this is probably the most disgusting map I've ever created. I mean, I've... I've made some doozies, but uh... Wow. I want to die. Finally, for all the intellectuals out there that actually know how to somewhat play this game, know this land isn't cored. Bhutan is the only core they technically have, uh, and I know people want me to core this stuff. Problem is, th there's no entertainment behind that. If I cored this stuff for them, then it's, it's not even fun. They're gonna easily dominate. There's a chance that they definitely might lose. Actually, that is probably what's gonna happen. Because as you can see, the UK is already pretty mad. Of course, and they've got four more days until they could possibly declare war. I don't know if they're going to. I don't even know what land I gave to the Thunder Dragon Empire that made them so mad. You still got the Falkland Islands, so I don't know what you're mad about. This is what usually triggers you. Ah, it's for Ellsworth land. Whatever the hell this is. I guess it's Antarctica or something. All right, that's already making a difference. By the way, this is the image that I used in order to make this video. So again, like over 20% of elevation something it's it's complicated i don't know how to explain it but yeah i did make them form their own faction mountain gang i thought snow gang could have worked as well because obviously a lot of these places are really cold in, in the highly elevated spots but i didn't want them to join the axis that would have been not fair i just remember that the ring of fire has like huge mountain ranges i guess that explains why they have so many of these members it's world star time in china someone get out your camera phones film it vertically too they're going after the communists and uh, actually the chinese will probably have an easy time going and taking out like most of these warlords like who's gonna stop them if you didn't know africa is like one of the flattest places on earth i'm assuming that's like got to do with like Pangea. You ever see those videos of like the world expanding when it was from Pangea to this? I, this place just stays the same. I, I guess that's why like no continent plates crashing into each other. I don't know what I'm saying. Wait, what? Pakistan isn't here. Pakistan was eaten up by the Thunder Dragon Empire. I don't know who did this. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of confused about that, but uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Also, India is still a part of the Allies, I guess, even though I decolonized this region. I guess that Makes sense. Yeah, the Allies are still going strong for the most part, so they might be able to stand up. It may be with the help of Mustache Man. I think one of the biggest surprises to me is to find out that Poland has mountains. I thought Poland didn't. I thought it was relatively flat. Hold on, what's going on here? Do I see? It looks pretty flat to me, according to Hoi 4. So I don't know, well, the edges, maybe. Uh, is that what's doing it? This little piece of land, I, I guess. Because everything else makes a whole lot of sense. Like, you can literally actually see the massive bulges. <laughs> I'm now I'm just thinking of anime girls. What's this? Yeah, probably for the best. I would say this is for the best, considering Pakistan doesn't exist. I would just like to know how many of these divisions are like mountaineers. Like 99% should be some sort of mountain people ready to fight. Okay, well luckily that is one of the first things they did research. They have 1936 technology, but uh, yes, they, they went for it. So please just don't even get anything else. Just grab the tier three immediately. Ah, uh, Chamberlain. I should have known. I should have known. Neville wasn't going to go to war. He was just going to chill. Just wanted to see. He kept the peace, though. He kept the peace, as he always does. I don't know why World Tension's already at 100%. That is odd. Who did this? UK? What the hell did they do? Why did that go so hot? Ju okay, Justifying, I guess, does this. What's kind of interesting is Bhutan might have a lot of divisions, but they don't have very much protecting their European borders. That is... A great idea. Keep doing that. It's gonna work out fine. That's kind of an odd one. Usually the Saudis are somehow involved, not not these two just going to war. Well, that's good. I mean, maybe they can consolidate some power and uh, hold them off at some point in the future. More war in China as these two kind of go at it. Obviously, Japan isn't here, so these guys aren't puppets anymore. Also, nothing's changed. I get. Well, maybe that could have been a peace deal. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so nothing's changed here at all. Hungry, coming in hot. Coming in real hot with that take right there. They, I mean, they are immediately grabbing up a bunch of land. Let's just play it out for a second. So, clearly, uh, they have no interest in defending this stuff. Oh, well, isn't that sweet of Germany? I guess that makes sense. They are both fascists. Still, 
a little odd. I thought Germany would eventually come after them themselves, but whatever. Oh, you better watch it. Those reinforcements are coming. They're, well, they're not Mountaineer divisions. I'm disappointed. Yeah, they're just regular stuff. Either way, uh, they might be able to stop them. I feel like the only way we can make this map more disgusting is if the Thunder Dragon Empire falls. Like, if a bunch of people just take all different states and it just becomes <laughs> a massive cluster, I don't think they'll be puppeted because there isn't... There really isn't a communist power anymore. And I'd be a little bit worried because now the UK has Churchill. He's gonna mean business. That's for sure. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If Hungary went after them, I think the UK will too. Yep, it's going down. The democracies are now about to get involved. So France and the UK, I'm assuming France will join the allies, right? They're not a part of any other fact. Yeah, they're already part of the allies, so they're getting pulled in. Things are going pretty horribly in Western Europe, although they're kind of getting, again, a bigger grasp over Hungary. I think it's just because the AI has so much land to control. I don't think they can organize very well. Now, the dumbest thing that could happen right now, which I would never put it past them, is uh, if the amazing painter himself just decides to go after France and the UK, goes after the allies, leaving Bhutan to be safe for the entire game. I don't know, I could see him doing that, but hopefully he doesn't. They're getting super lucky that India isn't involved because they could just crush all their dreams, I think. I mean, this is the stuff you gotta take over for the most part, I get. I mean, they could probably get up to Russia. I assume this is where a majority of their power is. Oh, and Canada as well. So they could kind of do the same here. They've got a lot of factories, obviously, in the US. I think they have close to, close to a thousand already. But let's be real here though. As long as they don't lose Supreme BTS territory, as long as they keep our little Asian twink happy, then they're gonna be good. You guys should probably start falling back immediately. Fall back. This is looking horrible. You're gonna get so much encircled. If you just maybe trap them, keep them, you're up, you know, get, get to Turkey at least. You don't have any ships, which is kind of a problem. You got plenty of other things. You just, none of this, I guess. I, I mean, airplanes, you, I guess you could use more of those. Whoa, 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 guys. It, it's still the 20th century. This is a little early for chaos already to be going down. I mean, I guess it's fine. Okay, well have fun, you two. By the way, Hungary did form the Pack of Rome, so uh, they're just out here doing their own thing. I don't know who's really gonna join, because is there really any fascists left? Well, that was fast. Cleaned that up real quick. I guess you better watch it. I mean, they do start off relatively powerful in Hoi 4. They might do something. The Thunder Dragon Empire might be getting real lucky here soon, because mustache man gonna mustache. He's going after, like, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. He's going after Luxembourg pretty soon here. That might distract some people. Third war in China. Wow, this really is becoming a world star video. Just complete chaos. We should get lots of money for this on your, our crappy vertical camera phones. Germany's looking a little bit weird. Oh wow, and they instantly just took Luxembourg right now. Wow, we witnessed that with our own eyes. No resistance from anyone. They just let that happen. Ching China's entered the chat and uh, they've decided just to go after everyone. They're gonna start roasting uh, all of them. I mean, they're about to, I think, I don't know. Has this always been like this? Is this for reals? This democratic man from Kazakhstan? I mean, it's still too early to, to tell him, but I, I, I like it. I would get one of those if I could. Another war, this time in Africa, so that's kind of good. If this uh, continent could do something without just sitting there and being boring, then that'd be fantastic. Okay, so Bhutan is finally starting to get a grip a little bit. I mean, they've slowed down the push a lot. Actually, it hasn't really moved. The front lines haven't much moved, just a, a little bit. It's good news. There we go. Thank you, Denmark. Thank you for actually existing in this universe. That'd be great. I wish I knew what it was like to, to know you existed. Germany is going after them, and they joined the Allies. So I guess, uh, yeah, they're going to be helping out. I'm trying to think of a couple things I've learned from meme videos to be able to say in this video that could be useful. I mean, Poland is, well, Poland's not around. If they could use the bear, that would be great. Get, Bring out the bear, bring your country back. Oh, Australia joined the fight. Okay, and they're just kicking booty over here. So clearly the Dragon Empire, they ain't, they ain't building no ships. They don't need that. This is kind of crazy to see the AI actually navally invade. The fact that it took like two years for them to do this, <laughs> that's great. And here we go. So that's what I thought. They got lucky. I'm telling you, they got real lucky. So Germany's gonna do his thing. He's going after the Netherlands. I think he should be going after France soon. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why the allies haven't forced them to come in. Either way, uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna save them over this way. And France is totally not ready. This is gonna be a 100% accurate depiction of Germany invading. They, they already reached Paris. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else I expected. Well, you know what? Interestingly, I guess the land was given back to Bhutan. Uh, kind of. I, I mean, Germany has some of this Stuff. Well, I don't really know why the French lands were given to them. They're participating in a war, maybe, I don't know, war efforts. Yeah, this is going to be kind of a problem. I'm surprised the British didn't do this way earlier. Uh, maybe it will be 
difficult, but yeah, just take Norway, first of all, and go all the way through Scandinavia. So this is about to get interesting because as you can see, the British are taking everything. Well, they're giving it back to free France, but as soon as this area falls, they'll be back in a major front against Germany. Germany who hasn't really been doing anything because they don't really have a navy. Super big mistake by Qing China. Definitely not advised. Yeah, they went after nationalist China and uh, yet now they're gonna get destroyed. So for the fascists, things are going pretty well in Europe. Uh, I guess they did kind of listen to my strategy. Bhutan you know, pushed back the allies and Hungary to, yeah, they, they kept Turkey and then Germany got all of France and Spain uh, right as soon as they, you know, they got kicked out over here. Of course, China's over here uniting all of China. They just have to take out two warlords, which these two warlords are actually still at war. Nothing else is going on. But yeah, they could be a pretty big threat to the Thunder Dragon Empire. Whoa, okay, hold up. I don't know what is happening, but the Dutch, fascist Dutch people and fascist Belgium people have both risen up in their countries. Wow, I am very confused about this. I've never seen this go down before. What is happening? I like the color. Also, uh, yeah, as you can see, the UK is dead. Oh, okay, I think this is old news. You guys are probably all laughing at me if you actually play Hoi 4. Uh, yeah, it's just they created like a puppet, I guess. That's cool to see the AI actually do that. Why don't they have a portrait? They should have a portrait. Oh, Brazzers. Okay, good, go Brazzers. A little disappointed that nothing's happening with Antarctica. I guess that it makes sense. Why would the AI do anything with Antarctica. I mean, you could come down here and maybe ride some polar bears. That, that would be good. Poland maybe would want a bigger bear army. New Zealand is now being conquered by Australia. I know this is your worst nightmare. Honestly, for the Kiwis, it might not be that bad living under dragon rule. And so it begins. This is probably the biggest test, the biggest test that uh, our new mountain snow empire will have. It looks like things are going fine. I don't know how many troops India has. And the battle for North America is happening as well. So uh, again, things are going all right up here. I assume the Canadians probably have all their stuff mostly there. And now Free France is going down. So Free France was like Balkan area, Greece and others. I don't know how that ended up happening, but yeah, they're dying. Totally forgot that South Africa was a part of the empire as well. Like I I don't know why I thought they were gonna have to come down here and invade because of the allies, but nope, that makes it a little bit easier. Brazil, get out of here. What are you guys doing? Don't be helping out, which Brazil was actually leaning towards fascism for a little bit. I don't think they are anymore. That sucks. Bhutan kind of dropped the ball for a second. I don't know how just Hungary got this stuff back. They might've been distracted, I think. And here's the end of the war. So they both took 39 states. That's nice and even, surprisingly. I mean, I, that's good news. Honestly, I thought it was, I was gonna say Germany pretty much saved them, but they both put a good amount of effort in. I guess some places were puppeted. We'll see by who. They're both obviously fascist nations, so we don't really know just yet. Interesting. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's our sign. Uh, Germany kind of just stuck with, I guess, annexing people. Well, you know what? If, if they both got the same amount of states, but someone puppeted more, then I would say they probably did more work. Africa's been going through quite a bit of changes. The borders look really different from when we started. So I like that. I mean, new. It was actually pretty chaotic, so I'm just so glad they didn't do what South America normally does. I mean, there was one conflict, at, at least. Anyways, there you guys go. You guys have been asking me to do, like, a mountain snow empire for a while now. I decided not to do the single faction. I think this was a little bit more interesting. Again, if I cored these lands, it wouldn't have even been close. I think, uh, again, Bhutan probably wouldn't have won without Germany's help. I still kind of believe that uh, if they had cores on all this stuff, this wouldn't even been a video. This would have been an instant, uh, instant win. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LFC, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Vacation, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Mo, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Free Cruz, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Destiny F 9000, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky Gengar, Battle Buddy 1847, James Miller, Mike S is gay, Sleeper 56, Huey Longdong, and Alfonso M6, Millitime, Double Books, KB, my main man Manny. Thank you.